Hey everyone, welcome back to Party Wipe Gaming. I am Rendis, and once more we are playing Final Fantasy VIII. The last we left off, uh, we went into space. Oh. Well, hello. I guess we can't clear this place out. Uh, we went into space to save Renoa, and uh, in doing so, we found a spaceship. I'm just going to put the 999 back on so we can move this along. Also, when when we get to a more calm point, I gotta remember that we actually found the, the schematics for all the final weapons, so I'm gonna make sure everybody gets their, their good shit and stop swinging around these low-tier weapons. Oh. <clears throat> so, this is gonna just happen for a while. I hope you guys are used to it. Or don't mind seeing some short battles here. Because you can't you can avoid these guys, but they respawn. They just stole blizzard stones that time. Good job. So not like they're hard. It's more that that victory music and getting through this takes up time. So hopefully you guys can bear with it. Yeah. You are probably blocking something important. Found the OC plates. Wing steel. Couldn't or wouldn't. That sounds like a real, real no getter there, Renoa. Emergency security system deactivated. Cockpit access denied until all threats are eliminated. Okay, well. That's kind of why we're killing them, huh? Bye. <laughs> you just, like, straight up bull rushed us. You know, we'll just throw the same monster at them to change their color pattern. Your bones, am I right? <laughs> um, how am I supposed to remove all the threats if they respawn? Is that Odin? This is Odin. Aw oh, yeah. This majestic motherfucker just auto summons himself. Thank you, Odin. One had rushed us out of the room. It's still rushing us out of the room. Alright, I'm gonna actually look this up, because I don't want to be wasting time running around on things that respawn. Alexander card. Ah, oh, Pite had Alexander. Damn it. I knew there was an important reason to go there. Alright, hold on. So, board the Ragnarok, go to the pasture area, head to the cockpit. Huh? Seriously? 
It's just like, go and do the things. Examine the terminal in the passenger area. Find a report left by Ragnarok's former crew. Oh, systematically. Junction death. Well, it's just in one hit. Hmm. Alright, so we gotta go to passenger area where there's a. No, I didn't want to fight you, damn it! Odin's just like, ah, I'm just gonna show up and handle all of this for you from now on. It's still impressive. Death Stone. Alright, we gotta find a green one. I think there was a green one in that save area? Oh, the purples are dead now, too. Oh, yeah, I did kill two purples. Alright, so... Nope, not worried about Red Boy. Yeah, there you go. The green one was in here, wasn't it? The save? Yes! How do you die, buddy? Stones. Yeah, all right. Those ones should stay dead.
A report on the monsters breeding on this ship. We eliminated all the monsters on the ship, but we leave this report in case they breed again. Monsters are three to six meters tall, extremely hostile, and savage. They are ferocious carnivores and have attacked and devoured numerous crew members. There are eight independent monsters, but there are also one entity. The monsters can be killed through regular combat, but it must be done systematically. For example, if you kill one monster at a certain place and kill another one at a different place, the first monster you kill may be revived by another monster. Eight monsters work together to maintain their colony. They seem immortal, but they are not. Killing them in a certain order prevents them from reviving one another. Here is a more clear explanation or example. Let's name the eight monsters A through H. Let's say monster B can revive monster A and D can revive C and so on. If you kill monster B right after you kill monster A, monster A will never be able to revive. confirm that the monsters are paired up to have similar features. That is all the information we have. Good luck. No, just say kill them by color coordination. Um, so basically we have to kill them in pairs that have the same colors, right? Yes, Renoa. That is why you're a genius and he's dead. <laughs> like, you're amazing, he's not. We figured that shit out beforehand. Wow! I have to fly this thing. Squall, it's trying to talk to us. Entering orbit. <laughs> Entering orbit. Volume. This is S-Star Air Station. It's... Ragnarok, do you read? Ragnarok, do you read? Radio signal. This is Air Station, do you copy? Hug. Aww. This ship is the Ragnarok. Whoa, is this really the Ragnarok? You're in space, right? Yeah, yeah, but I have no idea where we are. Roger that. We can track you from here. We can go home. Ragnarok, it's been 17 years. Oh my god, what are the odds? Can, can we make it back? Leave it to us. You should have enough fuel. Enter your location into the atmospheric re-entry program and you'll be okay. Once you enter the atmosphere, we can guide you down. You'll be just fine. How do I enter the data? No sweat. We'll take this step by step. Are you in the pilot seat? There's too many seats here. It's the one on the right. Go sit there. You know, with the big steering wheel on it. Dumbass. <clears throat> okay, I'm here. See the touch panel in front of you? Yeah, I see it. The rest is easy. Just enter the following data. Go ahead. Whoa, that's... that's words, all right. Entered. And more of that. Mm-hmm. Entered. No errors? It's fine. Bullshit, I fed you wrong data. Next time, I'm sure you're okay, but there's something I need you to do. Turn off the gravity generator. This should save some fuel. Use the same touch panel to turn it off. Alright. This must be it. Done. Congratulations, you're hope free, Ragnarok. And, there's one more thing we need to tell you. From all of us at Ground Control, we wish you Godspeed. Thanks. <laughs> Sit down, girl. We're cruising in style. Hey. Whoosh. Never say my song. Romantic moment. On this day. <laughs> Go sit over there. Put your seatbelt on. Wishing they would 
like, be I'd rather sit right here. I saw you smiling at me. We'll be home soon. Was it Hopefully. I go sit down. Just like, mm, no, I'm, I'm good right here. Mm -hmm. Just a little longer. Why are you holding on to me like this? Oh my, he is so dense. Just not used to it. How about when you were little? Didn't you feel safe and secure being held by your parents? I can't remember anything about my parents. But alone was there for me. Alone was there to hold my hand. Ah, oh, the song. And she left, just disappeared. I'm afraid. Afraid of having that feeling of comfort taken away. You are afraid of losing us? Is that why you kept your distance? I was always alone. Squall. You missed out on all the good things in life. You missed out on so much. Maybe. Your mom. I'm not your father. <laughs> no, of course not. But now, Squall, you're the one who gives me the most comfort. Comfort and happiness. And annoyance and disappointment, too. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> it's so goofy. You should get back to your seat now. No. <laughs> Just a little longer. You'll be safer in your seat. We're going to make it home, right? Of course, we got one more disc to play through. I can only hope. When we get back, we won't be able to stay together, huh? Maybe. No one can predict the future. There are no guarantees. Those were your words, Renoa. That's not what I meant. We'll figure out what to do once we're back. You blew it again. They'll all be angry at me. Angry. Air Station Ragnarok, please respond. This is the Ragnarok. We have a question for you. We're collecting escape pods. You have a good idea of what happened. I hear no one from Lunar Base is on the Ragnarok. How many of you are there? Just two. Your, your names? Squall, and a seed from the Lamb Guy. And the other? Renoa. Renoa? The sorceress? She's on the ship? So it's true, Renoa is a sorceress. I've become a sorceress. I can't stay with you anymore, Squall. Respond, Ragnarok! I don't want the future. I want the present to stand still. Just, uh, okay. Respond, Ragnarok! Nobody would want to be around me anymore. The sorceress will be seized upon arrival. Please, uh, okay, really, stop jumping ahead. I'm not... I'm scared. Squall, do you copy? Is the sorceress listening to? I'm scared, Squall. I don't want to go back. So you're going to have to get through me. Finally got that hug. I really like that song. I don't know what to do. This is just another crossroad in my life. But for the first time, I don't know which way to go. I've come this far because I've 
Fallen for you. Renoa. Now, oh, I skipped that one. That's my fault. <laughs> Sorceress Renoa. Heinz Descendant. Heinz. Come with us. We must seal your power for the sake of the world. Uh, all right. Thank you for understanding. Tell us when you're ready. I, I should tell you this before I go. I was possessed out in space. There was a sorceress inside of me. Ultimacia, a sorceress for the future. She's trying to achieve time compression, this thing we already went over with Adea. She's the only one who would be able to exist in such a world. She and no other. As long as I'm free, She'll continue to use me to accomplish her goal. I... We can't let that happen, right? I should go now. I'm ready. Alright. We'll be heading to the Sorceress Memorial. Where you'll be decapitated and put on display for all time. <clears throat> Renoa, don't go. Uh, thanks, Squall, but I have to go. Renoa. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, I still have your ring. You keep it. You sure? Yeah. Just kiss her, you fool. Why go why? You wanna kiss the girl? Wow, wow. This is what Renoa decided. There's nothing I can do about it, right? I mean, you could have killed all of them and kept running. You could have done everything. Oh, okay. I guess it's back onto the spaceship then. Alone. Go up. Go up, damn it. Isn't it working? Go up, damn it. Isn't that the way up? Oh, I guess this is supposed to be. Punch. things happened. I was unconscious for a while after the escape pod touched down. When I came to, it was just me and Pite. Pite, 
how the guy who escaped with us. What happened to Alone? Alone wasn't with us anymore. Not only that, there were signs of a struggle. I hope she's safe. The Estar rescue crew brought me here. The rescue crew told us about this ship and that you were all safe. I see. Squall, when you jumped out into space, you didn't think about anything else, did you? That's right. I wonder if there's anyone who'd do the same thing for me. You can't see it, but I'm raising my hand. Oh, well. So, where's the princess that changed the ever-cautious squall? Renoa is. <clears throat> Sup, Squall? So glad you're safe. I hate to tell you this now, but we got a major problem down here. Well, here goes. Some big thing called Lunatic Pandora came out of nowhere. Matron couldn't achieve what she set out to do because of it, which is okay. Matron's not a sorceress anymore. Matron gave away her power to someone without realizing it. To Renoa. And, uh... Oh yeah, the Galbadian military is controlling Lunatic Pandora. They excavated it from the ocean where Estar sank it years ago. Inside the Lunatic Pandora, there's this thing called a crystal pillar. It calls monsters from the moon. Then monsters came falling from the moon. Total panic down here. It wasn't just monsters that came falling down. Sorceress Adele came down along with the machine that confined her. I guess the stream of fallen monsters engulfed that machine. Lunatic Pandora caught Adele from that stream. Dr. Odine thinks that may have been Galbadia's true intent. Meaning... So, that's enough for now. But Squall! I know. I know we've got problems. But I can't think right now. What's wrong? Renoa is a sorceress now. She received Matron's powers. An escort from Estar came to pick Renoa up. Renoa's in Estar now. We have to go get her. Was she taken by force? No, it was Renoa's decision. I mean, it was kind of bold. She was scared about being a sorceress. Scared of being feared, hated. Scared that no one would want to be around her. She said she couldn't handle that. Didn't you try to stop her squall? It was Renoa's decision. What right do I have to object? Oh, stop that. What are you talking about? Why did you go all the way into space to save Renoa? To hand her over to Estar so that you might never see her again? No, right? Wasn't it because you wanted to be with Renoa? You're a fool. Seriously, even I know that. A fool, huh? Like, if you're getting it laid in thick by Quistus, who, who really has that rejection bitterness still going on. Maybe. What am I doing? I may never get to hear Renoa's voice ever again. What the hell am I doing? What can I do? Fight? Of course. Have you decided? Heading to Estar, right? Pandora, whatever, and Sorceress Adele are out of my hands. I don't even know where to look for Sis. The only thing I know is Renoa. The only thing I want to do for sure right now is for Renoa. <laughs> it's like, the only thing I want to do right now is Renoa. We're going to get Renoa back. Squall has earned the power of love. Squall? Or Zell? Nope, pause. Bro, need you get Whoa! Ah! Hey! 
Uh, excuse me? We're flying? <laughs> I hope this ain't the case, but I can picture Selfie in the pilot seat and... Selfie screaming, Woohoo, we're flying! And standing next to her, a very aroused Irvine. These things are all accurate. Also, Ragnarok has the best music. I was like, okay, that's totally the way up. There it is. Woohoo! We're flying! <laughs> Selfie's just amazing. Fly is down. You sure you can fly this? <laughs> it just kind of took off. I don't know, it's pretty easy. I think I'll be fine. But there's no guarantee it won't crash. And we can predict the future, right? Selfie, head for ice time. She's probably at the Sorcerer Memorial. We're gonna go rescue Unoa. Spaceship controls. So it's just like flying the... Okay, so it's just like flying the guard. Whoosh, we got a spaceship, y'all. Boom! Did it auto go over the mountains? Yeah, good times. It's so fast! Let's see if we can grab Eden. We got time. There it is. No, I don't want the cockpit. Where are we going? Sefi. Sefi. <laughs> Sefi. Let's go. There we go. Why does it look like it did crash? Where in the world is this? Hey, I know this place. You do? What? <laughs> know it all, Zell. To the rescue again, baby. Ready for a little story time, Squall? Yeah, let's hear it. I'm curious. Let's hear it. Okay, here goes. This island is most likely that mobile research facility. Huh? AKA Battleship Island. So what did they research? Basically, they were trying to develop a draw system like ours. They probably traveled all over the world to gather different energy and materials for this research. Da da da. I don't know how the heck it ended up here. I heard they did some hardcore research here. They even used uh, waifus for experiments. To science geeks, it was a treasure island. Hmm. What? You think I'm BSing? No. Maybe I should give this guy more credit. <laughs> Maybe I should think he's not BSing. Alright, let me pull up <coughs> the research station. This is a totally optional quest. But we get, like, the best GF from it. Yeah, we get the two best. Bahamut and... Deep Sea Research Station also does battle. Blah, blah, blah. Throw the area until you find it and touch down the landing pad. Once the facility, you'll discover a glowing blue core. On this voice, will tell you to turn back. Approach the core very cautiously while it resonates. The encounter rate is very high, and encountered none will be useless. Ooh, good to know. Freeze until the glow subsides. Only take a few steps at a time. When you reach the core, the ominous voice will engage you. Okay. So that's good to know. Let's put the junctions on. We need to fix that junction after... Renault was taken. Why is she blue? What's the use in feeling blue? Take 
everything. Function squall. GS. You don't need Quetzal. You don't need Diablo. No, that's not right. Quetzal. Okay, back on the list. Alright, and we don't need Siren. Don't need pandemonium. Is that three and three? That's three and three. It's still a lot on squall. There we go. Alright. Rejunction our stuff, because there's just a lot of stuff not getting used to sitting on him. even though it's going to be useless in that coming fight. Junction, GF, Shiva, Ifrit, Siren, Xander. Magic, use, Dragas. Oh, she's still silenced, that's why that's on there. Let's fix that too. It's kind of crazy that that'll stick even after they're taken out of the group. Hmm. Looks like it's been abandoned for years. 17 years to be exact. What is that big blue thing? Whoa, he's moving. What on earth are they researching? Let's check out that core. We might find more about it. The blue light leads all to death. Turn back. You're only supposed to take a couple steps because the encounter rate skyrockets while that light is glowing. Perceived the resonance. Oh, it wasn't even going. and kills. Oh, no. 
now it's at 200 out of 1,000. We've only killed 200 things in the course of this whole game with the encounter none on. That's crazy. Why is it making it so hard to walk? Hell, we built it too. No weird. Alright! <laughs> must have like poison on there or something. to challenge me. It's not our way to fight. We'll do it anyways. No, oh, it's just a ruby dragon. That's not, nothing to be worried about. Stealing shit. Inferno Fang. For mercy. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Never. Oh, another, another dragon. Didn't see that coming. Yeah! Lizelle has initiative, is somehow not going first. Why do you wish to fight? <laughs> None of your business. For the sake of protecting something. What? That's not the right answer. I guess it is. Hey, another dragon. Fighting repeated monsters and not getting experience for it. Oh. I don't... Oh, there's a third answer! It's our nature. There is no real reason. Maybe we were born only to fight. I see. Interesting. Here we go, it's time for Bahamut. I'm gonna turn him into a card. I am Bahamut. Great, waifu Bahamut. Waifu, I, using my powers, it is you humans, I fear. Punch him in the dick. Still hyper wrist, nice. Draw anything from him? Yeah, 
there's nothing. You've seen the light. No, but I'll be taking that power. Bahamut's card received. Well, we shall call him Bahamut. Another path to your destiny awaits. You are indeed an interesting one, brimming with passion. All right, so that's Bahamut. When you leave and return to DC, you'll find a new path leading to the gap hole left by the destruction of the core. Climb down the debris and you'll see a terminal buried underneath the rubble. Let me read the report about the level energy system. <clears throat> okay, so we go down. It's supposed to go down. Going down, down, in and in and in now. It's not letting us. So it was like we're supposed to leave and then go back. And there's supposed to be a hole. There's supposed to be a way to climb down. I'm just not seeing it. I'm not able to click it. It's not letting me take this path. Maybe I'm supposed to fully leave. No, it's the same damn... Same damn thing.
I just realized the mic had been muted this whole time. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed reading that in my voices for me. Cypher is Ultimissia's puppet. Yeah, and that Ultimissia. We can't let that sorceress from the future mess up our world. Let's go kick her ass. We're seeds. We're here to destroy sorceresses, right? Present company excluded. So, we don't use the S word. It's a sorry. We don't use that word either. So, Squall, where are we going? Um. Can we go to the orphanage you guys were talking about in Travia? That place is in shambles. Mm, there's nothing to see there. I want to stay away from places where there are lots of people. I'm a sorceress. If Ultimessia possesses me again. Let's go. Head to Adea's house. Which is exactly where we'll be heading in the next episode. Actually, like I said, we'll be doing the side quests in the next episode. Uh, but we'll head to Adea's house later on. Um, so, yeah, we'll do another round of side quest stuff. Uh, Chocobo, Chocobo Paradises. We'll go to the Shumi Village. We'll do the Queen of Cards. Um, there's a couple other things like the Alien and the Cactuar Island. So we'll knock some shit out. It'll be great. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked it, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, if you have any suggestions on other games we could be playing, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Uh, Sleeping Dogs is going to be on the list. A uh, friend gave that to me, so I'll be definitely be playing it here and uploading it soon, so look out for that one. Um, and uh, be sure to always be on the lookout for our Twitch channel. I am generally streaming as many nights as I can to try and get that popularity up, and I would love to see you guys there. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.